I'm at the Queen's Plate with Liesl van der Vestes. And Liesl, I seem to run into you everywhere I go. Well, I've been nagging you this week so I can take you stand up paddling. The weather's been perfect. Uh, but yeah, we are at uh, the Lormorans Queen's Plate and uh, completely a perfect day for this. I'm going to take you up on that. I need to get out and stand up paddleboard some more. You know, I actually haven't gone since the last time we went. I'm going to have to take you in the ocean. I'm going to teach you how to catch yes. waves. Although I can't catch waves either, so we'll have to both go for lessons. I can catch waves on a surfboard. So does, can I. Does, oh. Yeah, but paddling, <laughs> oh. paddling's different. <laughs> okay, away from all of these sports, you are looking absolutely fabulous today. Just before we started this interview, they said you were chosen as one of the finalists for Best Dress. Yes, I, as I arrived, I've only got you about 10 minutes ago, I was told, um, please go stand there, you've been nominated for Best Dressed, and, uh, which is quite fun because what I did is I just took a whole lot of outfits and mix and match. I didn't actually go out and buy anything. I mix and matched everything and put stuff together. So it just goes to show you don't have to go and buy a new outfit yeah. to come today. You can just upcycle and mix and match some old stuff and mix some old with some new and get something fab. I also didn't buy a new outfit. Tell me about what you're wearing. How did you put this all together? Well, I threw a whole lot of dresses on the bed, about <laughs> five. I said to my partner, choose one and tell me what to wear. And he went, those two, pick them. Okay, that's the final one. And he went with the turban. He decided to put the flowers in my hair. So He's uh, a keeper. He is a keeper. <laughs> so I have I can't take any credit. Only thing I added was the fan and the umbrella. <laughs> now you are a self uh, proclaimed tomboy. Every time I talk to you, you have another big sporting event coming up. What's going on for you in 2016? Well, we are going to Croatia to do half Iron Man later in the year. You are nuts. Uh, uh, yeah, we we nuts <laughs> and uh, also taking part in Africa X, which is three days of running, trail running, uh, in March. Uh, very nervous for that because I'm the world's worst runner. And uh, so I'm going to swap the high heels for a pair of running shoes. Now, I know before you did the ath athletic, what's it called when you did the, the body? Yes, Miss Fitness. Before you did Miss Fitness, you were on a very strict diet and you actually ate a chocolate brownie from Charlie's afterwards. Is that right? <laughs> what are you, how are you dieting for these, for these ventures? I've, I've actually just started following a bit of a, a banting diet, uh, which I'm, I want to see what it's like, if it's going to work for my running. I, I've only just started a couple of weeks. I'm seeing a difference. So we'll have to see. It's still early days. I mean, it's, it's something that's, it's long term, but I have to tell you those Charlie's bakery brownies <laughs> are my weakness and it doesn't help that they're so big and so yummy and so delicious when it's all said and done are you gonna get a Charlie's brownie or are you gonna go for something different uh, the Charlie's cheesecake cheesecake yes, yes. So, so after all the crazy sporting adventures that's my challenge at the end of the day to enjoy the cheesecake well enjoy the Queen's plate thanks so much Jen